All right. Hey, y'all. Hello, hello. I just wanted to do a chit chat. Get ready with me. Oh my God, she's a hot mess today. Oh Lord. I don't know if you can see me, cause I don't know if we got, I forgot we got really bad signal in the parking lot. Hey, good afternoon. Hello, hello everybody. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having a great day. I thought we'd do like a chit chat, get ready with me while we're getting ready for work. Cause you know, it is a work day. Trying to make that magic. A very busy week today. It is a uh, race week. So it's a princess marathon week. So it's gonna be crazy at the parks. Crazy busy. Hey, hello, hello. I know, I'm getting ready for work. I'm already at work, actually. I'm at the parking lot. I always do my makeup at work. This one, I don't have to worry about doing it while I'm driving. Um, I put some of that e.l.f. halo glow on, which is my favorite. Trying to do these eyebrows or lock thereof. So I just thought I'd chit chat with you guys while I'm getting ready for work. Why not? What else is there to do for the next little bit, right? But this is kind of like my makeup routine for work, what kind of what I do. I get to work really early, at least like an hour, hour and a half before work. I've been here since before two o'clock actually, cause that's what I do. Cause also parking situation is always just easier if you get here early. Uh, if you work for Disney, you, you know you gotta be at work like super duper early because a lot of times, like, it's not like when you get off at like a real job where you just drive up, you get out of your car and you go to your place of employment. A lot of times there's a long way to walk. If you work at Magic Kingdom, you have to take a bus. Um, yeah, I know, I'm at work. <laughs> I know, I'm. we get all the memos because I am a cast member going to work. That's what we're doing today. So we're doing a little get ready with me while we're in the parking lot trying to give you yeah they also extended they also added more after hours events they're adding epcot and h2o glow nights to the mix and i've told you guys many many times before if you have a choice between getting a day ticket versus a night ticket i would definitely pay for the night ticket because you get all your free snacks bottled water all of that good stuff not to mention you don't have to pay for lightning lane because you have the whole park to yourself especially at hollywood where you can um come in at 7 p.m and it's the event runs till one o'clock in the morning you don't have to buy lightning lane for rise of the resistance or like tower of terror which is normally you know like three hours long normally the waits are super super long uh yeah and it the price is pretty much the same as a day ticket so if you're considering coming between now and june i would look into those um look into the after hours events that way you don't have to buy genie plus is great i mean i don't go to the park without it it's worth the money because time is money especially like if you're coming right now if you always come when it's busy i mean if you can come off season that's great but if you have to come now like during race weekend spring break any of those things you're definitely going to be paying a premium because it's always more expensive the busier it is so yeah it was 29 dollars and sold out twice yes i know well as you know like cast members we have like the hub which gives us all of our news and we also have um cast life app we have our own app which is um for cast members so all the the quick little news and tidbits we get like um like really quickly before it hits like the regular media and stuff as we need to know what goes into the you know what's going on when we go to work but yeah it's i'm not surprised president's weekend is very busy it's also princess marathon race week this week so this is a very very busy week at walt disney world it is the princess marathon so everybody's here for the race you know race weeks race weeks and race weekends are insane combined with president's day holiday I mean, now I wouldn't, I'm, it's not surprising and I know it's a good thing. I mean, as much as people complain about it, time is money. And if time is important to you, it is worth paying for Genie Plus. Genie Plus alone isn't, you know, like 29 bucks for the whole day for over 40 attractions. I don't think is a bad price at all. 
I mean, but you have to remember that doesn't include the lightning lanes for other high value attractions like Rise of the Resistance and Guardians of the Galaxy and things like that. That's extra on top of the genie. So that's why. Yes, it's on to, if you're looking at the day, my day is today. If you're looking at tomorrow, the day after, it's future plans. But if you're looking at today's genie, it has to be on my day. That's called your, like your tip board. So if you're looking at today's, you have to go on my day. If you're looking at your future, if your future day, like, well, you know, if you're a resort guest, you do get dibs on that because you can buy it at seven in the morning. So there is a, you know, it's worth it if you're staying on property because they get dibs on that. So if you didn't stay on property, that's why it's sold out. So um, you don't get to buy it till 9 a.m. Like you can't buy it earlier than that you know what i'm saying so if you are um staying on property people who stay on property get dibs because they go they can buy it at 7 a.m oh, it was great i went to my mom's as you guys saw if you follow me on instagram i kind of showed you i went home to mom's we were planning our family ooh, our family cruise for gotta get my blue id blue id life baby blue id life gotta go into the high security building here in a little bit um, I transfer, I'm going to transfer everything back into my wallet because I went to mom's over the weekend and went to my, um, Rob's brother's house. We're planning our family cruise that we're doing in October. Super excited for that. I just wanted to do a little chit chat, get ready with, with me, with you guys. Kind of like this is my routine every day for like when I come to work. So I'm always at work Tuesday when thanks girl. It's all that, that, um. The skincare, the skincare is paying off. So I ended up putting all my day skincare on here. And then the night skincare is on the the darker one. That would have day and night routine. Um, it's finally paying off. Yeah, I'm using the e.l.f. Halo Glow Filter. And then I just add a little bit like to the areas that need a little bit more. But it's actually just a glow that you put under your foundation. And I just add a little bit more coverage to the areas that need a little bit more, like your sunspots and things like that. Um, yep. So, whoop, this is just some Vichy water. But thought I would do a, whoa, dang it. I thought I would do a get ready with me. I gotta, like, I'm on a schedule. I'm always on a schedule, so we'll just chit chat. But yeah, this is a very busy week. Um, you know, I'm sorry that you weren't able to buy Genie Plus as it did sell out. But, you know, when you plan your vacations, double check what else is going on on property. It, not only is it a holiday, it was it's also race week this week. A lot of people get here early who are running the Princess Marathon. Race weeks, as you know, are always insane here. Holidays are always crazy here. I have my little, um, that's why it's not so bright. I have the little um, dash covers but that way I don't get too much glare because I have my little makeup mirror here. Anyway, it will give me light, which is great. Um, yeah. So just kind of want to do a little chit chat with you guys. You know, um, that's great. You're going to California. Excellent. Yes. Um, yeah, I love this little thing. This is like a TikTok made me buy it, but everybody that gets, it's like a good, you know. <laughs> Everybody has this one, which is really funny. Hang on, I'll lower you guys a little bit and I'm just point you guys up. Whoop, there you go. Hey, everybody. I yeah, just wanted to say hi. Happy Tuesday. And some of you guys have asked us before like to do a get ready meet while I'm at work. I'm already at work, actually. So I'm just doing my makeup and getting ready to make that magic, baby. So it is race week. I'm excited. This is contouring. I look crazy. So don't mind crazy. Yeah, I love the elf, honestly, because it, uh, the elf, the nip, the next, it like this. So this is just the wonder stick in medium. It blends really, really well. So, I mean, I always use the elf. This is what the, you want the glow. The elf halo glow is amazing. It's all linked down there in the description box. I mean, these are the same products that I use all the time, but I'm going to show you how I kind of like weatherproof. Don't mind the, uh, contour always looks crazy we always look like crazy people before we uh before we blend everything don't mind the crazy it looks crazy all the time and then you just go in with your stippling brush i was just at mom's 
uh, down in the family down south in West Palm. We were just trying to plan our family vacation for October. So remember, I was telling you I was trying to work out a cruise that we could all go on as a family. So it ended up we're not going to do the Disney Wish. We are going to go back on. We're going to go on Royal Caribbean. And we are sailing on the Independence of the Seas. First family cruise. Hopefully a start of a new tradition. I'm really excited for that. This is just a e.l.f small stipple brush oldie but goody but if you're using cream wet products you know you always need like cream products you always need a stipple brush to kind of blend it all out because it blends like a dream it really really does but it blends almost too good sometimes uh yep yeah. and i have a smaller brush so i'm just yeah i tried this you know tiktok made me buy it this stuff makes your skin so dang ashy but i guess in a pinch it's fine um fuel rods what do i got in here more fuel rods uh yeah because i was using my i was using my little lululemon bag over the weekend and i gotta put all the lip glosses lips you know all the all the makeup that i use for the week it's gotta go back in my little work bag this is actually a little rain gear bag is the only thing we're really allowed to use while we're on um like you can't, I mean, you can, you can bring a backpack or whatever to work, but you don't really have lockers because if you work night shift, all the lockers are gone. So I don't bring my full backpack um, into work. So you are allowed this little bag, which is basically a rain gear bag. You check this out at costuming and that's kind of what I put all my stuff in. Don't mind the crazy contour. Let me go blend it out before I look like a crazy person. And you're like, Jen, blend out your contour. Um... But yeah, that's kind of what we do and we store all of our stuff in there. That is just where, like, it's easy. Sorry, I got foundation in my nose. <laughs> okay. But yeah, the fragrance I've been using lately with Scentbird is the Juicy Couture Rose, Rose, the rose one. I really like it. I like fragrances with rose. It's very light, nothing too heavy because it's hotter than you know what it is 86 degrees it's hot for february it's supposed to be winter i feel like i'm being gypped right now it's hotter than hades literally too dang hot is what it is very very hot unseasonably warm for this time of year not normal for us at all so hope you guys are having a good day next up wonder the seas we are going to do wonder in july so wonder we're getting back on in july rob surprised me for my birthday Woo! so excited so i am going back on the wonder of the seas for another eight day seven night cruise july 16th it is a western caribbean cruise we'll be going into um these are just the pure moist drops because my eye my eyes are so dry today um yeah so we're going back on a cruise in july super excited and then the family cruise on the independence of the seas in october mm, i am so excited because we have so many cruises for the year i'm like i'm like you know how like you guys get post cruise depression post disney depression post cruise depression is the same and peter said that the only way that your post cruise depression is going to be better is if you already have like a couple cruises booked before you even leave the ship and then you're not so like paranoid and you don't have like heart attack you know kind of like how you feel with disney like as long as you know you're coming back and you have a trip planned already then you feel much better literally the same still doing my cluster lashes hey d I, yeah, one of them fell off the side. These are still my DIY doing my own. Uh, these are the lash extensions. They last about a week. They're the Kiss ones. I still use that one. I love that little set. These are just the Kiss Royal Silk. I cut them up into clusters. And then actually I got this... Uh, the glue that Kiss is okay that comes with, but I found this Lynx Cluster Lash Adhesive on Amazon, which is really, really good. Actually, it lasts longer. It's actually really good. The other one tends to get gloopy for some reason. The, the Kiss brand, I bought it a couple times. So I researched a bunch and everybody said that this Lynx one is way better. So this is my whole kit for the homemade. Yeah, this one fell off, so I had to, like, put it back on because we can't have wonky lashes. No, sir, no, ma'am. They last about a week. So every week, like every Sunday usually or Monday, I go ahead and put my put a new set, take the old set off and put a new set back on. Saves me hundreds of dollars because, you know, if you get your eyelashes done at the salon, it is expensive. I did that for a while. It was just like, girl, 
No, I know, girl. I know, but it's going to be with the family. And the problem with the big ship, girl, is, trust me, I was trying, remember the problem is the, my brother, Rob's brother is a cop. So he, they bid for their vacations uh, a year at a time. He unfortunately has a Wednesday. He'll always have a Wednesday through like the next Friday off because that's his normal days off. And they just depends on the weeks of the year. But he's already bid for 2023. So he can never go on an Oasis class ship or a navigator or, any, or, a, or, or a quantum class ship, anything longer than a seven and then a four or five day because of his days off. What days do Oasis class ships leave on? Sundays. So what we're trying to do is for 2024, he's going to try to get two weeks off back to back. That way we can squeeze a weekend of on an Oasis class ship because I really want to take him on the wonder. Now we're going to go wonder back to back, like literally. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the th no, see, I have the opposite because on a Oasis class ship, it's like Magic Kingdom, right? You have your lands like, oh, shoot. You have your different um, like. Frontierland, Adventureland, you have the different eight different neighborhoods in a quant on an Oasis class ship. That's why I like the bigger ships. Not everybody is on the Lido deck. You know, we not, we're not big like up at the deck swimming at the pool people. Although now that it, we're going in the summer, we might be because it'll actually be hot. We don't like to go in the water when it's cold, Floridians, you know. So like some people are in the Central Park. Some people are at the boardwalk. Some people are at the Aqua Theater. Some people are on the Lido deck. Some people at the Solarium. That's what I love about the bigger ships is that you're not all just in the Lido deck. You know, or some people at the Royal Promenade. You can space out and that's what I love about it. Spacing out is totally the way to go. All right, blend, 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 blend. This is how you like um, part proof your makeup. This is just my little cast member routine. I actually use the Char Charlotte Tilbury Brightening. I ran out of my white. I've been using an oldie but goodie, Anastasia Modern Renaissance Renaissance palette. I'm out of the tempera, y'all. I'm out of the tempera. I use her too much. Oh, you're gonna love, honey. You will love the wonder. Um, but you guys are going to love it. I just wanted to tell you what was up for the week because we are going to be streaming a lot this week because Megan's in town, Sherry's in town, and Detroit Disney duo, you know, Sean and his wife gifted us a stay at a DV DVC resort. So we will be at Kadani Village with a Savannah view on Friday. So I'm going to give you guys a whole hotel tour, resort tour. We're going to go see the animals on Friday. We're going to go hit up Epcot. Rob will meet us after work because he works Fridays. Fridays are like his busy days in the OR. Like the OR blows up on Fridays. Everybody trying to do their last minute surgery. So he can't really meet us till after work. Um, but yeah, we'll be at doing a lot of Disney this weekend. So get ready for all those Disney live streams over the weekend. Um, I'm doing another cast preview tomorrow. It's just be a quick little ditty before work. I'm going again with Nick. Um, you know, and I'm doing three more times of Tron before opening day. You're going to love the Wonder so much. I mean, honey, you're going to love it. And I'm telling you, Wonder still my favorite ship. So, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Um, Epcon on Friday. Saturday, I think I'm at Magic Kingdom. And I have another cast preview on Saturday. Sunday, I don't remember what I have, but I know I have a park pass because Megan's in town and the girls. So of course, I'm going to hang out with them. Sherry's in town. I know I'm going to hang out with her Friday and Megan too. So I'm going to see them both Friday. But um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be at the parks. And it is marathon week. Y'all, parking going to be crazy. They block the roads off at 2, 3 in the morning. So like, I got to go right to bed after. As soon as I get off work tonight, I got to go because I got to be at Magic Kingdom before 1. Because I think we're writing at 1. Which is just going to be right before work. So I'm going to just get up early. Get ready for work. Um, I'll probably just throw a different shirt on. But I'm going to leave my sexy work pants on. Not. <laughs> but I'm really excited. I'm going to get to go like three more times for preview. Because I'm going to give it a go. See if I change my mind. You know. Because I want to write it up front. Because the lack of music is really driving me crazy. And I'm like, man, we lost an opportunity. We definitely need that 80s Daft Punk music. I was expecting, like, you know, a whole, like, soundtrack. The soundtrack was going to be pumping. We're going to be riding on that thing, you know. And, yeah, just like Rob said, if you're a man, he, that was his big complaint. Be careful because it, you know, like, it's very tight on your 
stuff. So just be gentle and be like, woo, a little uncomfortable, a little uncomfortable. Don't pull too hard, he says. <laughs> so it was funny because I, I went with Peter and Reese and Nick and Rob, I think. No, yeah. And everybody's all the guys. So the guys were like, whoa, uncomfortable, uncomfortable. Yeah. So that was their big thing. And Rob um, complained about the handles. The handle has an aggressive like grating on it to kind of like grip. The grip like made his hands all red. So it was kind of crazy. Um, so definitely consider that if you're a guy and when you're, if you, I'm sure a bunch of you guys are going to be doing pass holder preview. Yay. So I'm going tomorrow for another Tron preview Friday. No, tomorrow, Saturday, and then March 7th, I think it's the last day of, um, it kind of goes the same time. There are some pass holder previews those days too. And also going March 7th for another, um, cast preview. They let us sign up for more, which is which is good, I guess, you know, and it is a, such a short ride. And, you know, I only got to ride it like once. It was at night. It was pretty, but I was kind of bummed about the whole music and I didn't get to ride front. You know me, she's a front row queen, even for Velocicoaster. If it's a coaster, I need to ride up front. I just, I need to see, you know, short people problems and all. I rode row four because she's like, there was more show elements. I really didn't see that many show elements. So I don't know what she was talking about. So I think if I ride front row, I won't be as perturbed because I don't like, I don't know. I didn't like the back. <laughs> I just need more music, people. Music. I don't understand why we do not have music on this ride. Literally, the inside parts do, but like on the actual vehicle, when you're outside, there's no music. So I'm very confused. So I just want a little bit more. Hopefully they will add some musical elements to the ride. You're in this awesome little bike. You totally need more. So yeah, that's kinda, I gotta give it a couple more opportunities because as of my first ride, not my favorite, I still like Guardians better. So I'm gonna give it a couple more chances and opportunities to see if I like it better. You know, so gonna go do that tomorrow that'll be fun a little tron action before work so it's gonna be so hot Ugh. the weather has been boiling you guys like we got one cold day on saturday and it was it's boiling it's literally 86 degrees right now it's february it's not supposed to be this hot you guys pay good money to come here in the winter time because it's the best time of year and it's boiling why is it boiling i do not know do not know it is too hot for this time of year it, it's not it's not winter in florida oh dear where did i put that missing so if you are coming right now it's been hot so i i know it's been unseasonably sorry oh hi everybody how you doing we're just doing a i'll have to warn about the seating situation yes ma'am please do so Hey guys, sorry. Uh, we don't have good Wi-Fi in the cast parking lot. It's terrible. It's terrible. So, sorry about that. I forgot the signal is not good here. Because I wanted to do one of these for a hot minute. Then I forget that the parking lot has very, very bad Wi-Fi. So, oopsies. A lot of people working today. I don't work till 3.30. But I have a keeping the time on. I figure I'd just chit-chat with you guys while we get ready. This is just the Anastasia Beverly Hills oldie but goodie. I wanted to whip out the modern renaissance because it is old. Yeah, we have really bad Wi-Fi here at work, like in the parking lot. I'm not leaving. Get out of here. <laughs> Everybody trying to look for parking, as you can see back there. It is, is, that's why you got to get to work early. You got to like stalk the people leaving at 2 o'clock that we can get their parking spot. Parking is a premium at work, literally a premium. All right, <sighs> leave that out. We'll do the bottom in a minute, and we're just going to do a, trying to do less is more in the concealer. I've been trying to watch Robert Welsh lately. Less is more. This is still the um, NARS. It's the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Actually, it's, it's actually my favorite concealer because honestly, it doesn't crease. But this color, the Light Honey, it's almost like a color corrector because it's got a little bit of a peach tone to it. Um, but yeah, like with concealer, less is more these days. Otherwise, it looks like a big old cakey mess, and that is not your life. Um, I always like to do a brush first, because I put it on with a brush, it lays well. Okay, actually pretty good. It's pretty good. 
boop, 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 boop. All right, hang on. My primer is caking under there. Actually, it was the Il Maquillage Primer. See, sometimes I don't like it. It's supposed to be like an under eye primer thingy that's supposed to get rid of like the fine lines, but I think it just cakes. Sometimes you just gotta try these products to see if they work or not. There we go, so we don't look crazy. Crazy, all right. And then a little bit of regular, my beauty blender. You don't want it damp, damp. You want it damp, but you don't want it like soaking wet. I just have water in there, don't worry. And then I use a baby wipe and I just like roll it in there. That way it's not too wet. Okay. And we're gonna use the, where the heck is it? That Estee Lauder Double Wear one that we that we bought a little bit ago. Hey there, Baker, how are you doing? You're working? Yeah, I'm always, I'm a night shift girl. I do not really, I only work days if I pick it up. Money's at night, you know, cause I'm a tip cast member, so I have to, I gotta go where the money is. <laughs> and I like working at night, you know, mama's nocturnal. Like during the day, I'm like a vampire. The only time I get up early is if I'm on a cruise because there's no such thing, you know, all day, all night. I'm too excited being on a cruise. So I do get up early and stay up late because I'm on vacation. So much fun. But yeah, I'm not a day shift person. That's most people like, they, they, they're busy, but like, they don't start drinking till afternoon. You know what I'm saying? People get all guilty, like, oh, I shouldn't be drinking so early. Honey, when you're at Disney, this is Mickey o'clock, okay? If you wanna have a cocktail at 9 a.m. because we opened the bar that early, you do you, boo-boo. There is no judgment here. Honestly, that's why you're on vacation. Literally like a cruise, you know? You, you're, Mickey's doing the driving, especially if you're staying on property, you're not even driving. Like, Mickey's doing the driving. So does it really matter? No. Do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. A little, little bit more. This is just the tart shape tape. Need a little bit more contour there. Ah, it does dissolve very easily, but that's the thing. Like I almost have to double up on the bronzers uh, because they don't last as long. Like I feel like it absorbs too good. And there's that tart brush that it came with. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm sorry, what did you say about Lily? My Lily? Oh, yeah, I love my Lily. I, most of my cruise wear, almost every dress that I've worn on the cruise, if you guys check, check out my TikToks, and that pink one I was wearing on a lot of the, the dancey TikToks, yeah, those are the buttercup shorts. That's the style of that one. Oh, I love all my Lily. I do. I am a lily like. I usually use the Walsh, Walsh or Buttercup. Those are my favorite style of shorts. So I always do Walsh shorts or Buttercup shorts. Buttercups run big. I actually lost so much weight, I've gotta go down a size. Mine actually are like big. So I'm like, ooh, that's always fun. Because, you know, when your shorts are big, you're like, that's a good problem to have. I'm not mad about it. I'm like, totally, it's a good problem to have. I'm like, yes, please. So I've gotta buy some smaller shorts. I know, breaks my heart. But at least I can fit into the other ones that were smaller. So you gotta almost set one eye at a time because it creases so fast. There you go. I just hate creases. Mm. Okay, we'll leave that there for now. And then we'll do the, it's almost like a bake. Or almost like, I kind of put the, 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 this is really, really white. As you can see, I use it a lot. I don't like hit pan on it. But Miss Charlotte, she did a good job with this one. This is the Air Brush Brightening Flawless Finish. It's like a brightening one. It makes your under eyes brighter. All right, and this is just the Elf one, and I bought a whole bunch more of these little pups on Amazon because they are the best way to put your powder on. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do some. I also have, I do like the Wonder Stick Blush, which is really, really good. But I think I'm gonna use this one today. This is the Pro Fusion, it's my favorite. Boop, 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 boop. Put some blush on so I don't look dead. All right. 
But yeah, just, you know, with Lily, because they are so expensive, literally, like, stock up a little bit at a time. You know, you could also go on Poshmark and Mercari that have a lot of, like, lightly used. Or they say, I've gotten a lot of my Lily, like, new with tags. Like, they're brand new with tags. And then, of course, whenever they have the after-party sale, definitely, like, try to get more then. Um, yeah, the pink cover-up that I got was Lily. Both of the cover-ups I had was Lily. The blue one that rolled up was uh, I got from Poshmark or Mercari, I think. Yeah. So, you know, like they, the blue one, the blue one with the gold is always my, I always bring it on every cruise because it's so nautical. That's one of my favorite um, Lily dresses. But especially if you go on cruises, everybody wears it because it's like resort wear, you know. I love Lily anyway. I mean, because it's like all the hot pink is good it's resort wear it's kind of fun all right blend 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 and then i found kind of a dupe for the charlotte tilbury um highlighter wand it's the milani concealer and perfect highlighter to have it in zero one um what's the color in this lunar zero one lunar it's pretty good actually it's just the light but it's like even has the same tip and everything We're gonna blend it out it always looks crazy don't mind the crazy in the beginning but it, you could either do your fingers and just blend it out with your fingers because the heat of your fingers always helps stuff go into the skin or I just use my stippling brush actually but actually this is working pretty good yeah see very natural it like comes out very it blends really really well pretty good Milani drugstore y'all forget the $40 um charlotte tilbury on that one is good okay so i'm done with all my cream products and i usually will layer like set it with a powder product because you don't want the stuff going anywhere it is oof, it is hot basically I almost have to summer proof my makeup now this is another elf brush i live on elf and this is just like a three this is opv beauty london I just like, you basically just are gonna set a little bit of the powder bronzer over the cream bronzer. That way it doesn't go anywhere. And if you need more definition, just do that a little bit. Okay. Just lightly, 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 lightly. All right. And then blush. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I always use, and we do highlight. I'm still using Cookie by Benefit. I love it. It's my favorite. So good. I have these, like, where is my little contour brush? There it is. I have a very tiny contour brush for your nose. Look how tiny it is. I've got these two that I use. This one's a little bit more fluffy, but you can go do your inner corner highlight with it. Yeah, the cookie blushes are cookie is great. It's it's like a golden. I love it. It's just a good color, and it's good. Like I think, like it's good for a lot of different skin tones. This one's a, it's a gold champagne color. Always universal. Pretty good color. All right, to your nose, so you don't look crazy. That little dot there we're gonna blend it but this is perfect for that middle nose highlight snatch that nose Boop. keep its bow all right and then i have a bigger brush that i do for like the cheeks and then the bigger areas not that big not much that much bigger but it's an elf brush so it's another not elf it's a real techniques brush oldie but goodie. I have two of these. I got them in like all my makeup bags. Just to basically, you're just lightly setting those cream products with the powder products. That's all. So we don't move. We're going to blend all this out. Don't worry. It won't stay crazy like that. I promise. Um, oh, I got to do the under eye. I always finish off the makeup with the under eye. Where is it?
Where is my green brush? There it is. It was hiding from me. So we're gonna finish off the, I don't know, that's a concealer brush. That's an e.l.f. concealer brush. I just finished off the under eye once I got all that powder under there. There we go. It's just a little flat brush. I don't even remember. I think this is Alamar Cosmetics. I got it at one of the boxy charm boxes. Great. I just used Venetian Red and Love Letter because it is burgundy. It, I kind of match like my makeup to like my costume because my costume is burgundy. I have burgundy shorts on, you know, because Hollywood Studios is a lot of burgundy. Very tower terror, very great movie, right? All right, then that's the under eye makeup. That's kind of like, I just used the powder. All right, that's done. Boop, boop. And then we're gonna, oop, we're gonna use the hourglass diffused light. A little puff. I'm gonna do that, but And then I'm gonna use the, I have this big fluffy brush I use. You could do a fan brush as well, and then you could do your nose this way. <laughs> you could buff that nose contour down, blend it out a little bit with this, but it also sets that. The key, you gotta, I don't know, as much as like I have dry skin, but we're gonna spray the bananas out of this with a, setting spray but you gotta set all the cream and wet products and liquid always has to be set with a powder or otherwise it's gonna move the minute you sweat she can't see that blush is all pretty much all gone because you blend it all out but gives you a nice little non-drying base and then you're gonna bring out the big guns the milani make it last and the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless these two things, it's not going anywhere. Oh, I got the foundation on my nose again. Good Lord. Yeah, but this, yeah, you, these two will like shellac. Hey there, how are ya? All right, but you wonder how I keep my makeup on at work? Lots of setting spray, people. Lots of setting spray. Milani first. Woo! And then you gotta shellac it. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. There you go. I get the fan on, dry it up, dry it up. We're gonna do one more because it's 86 degrees today. Lord have mercy. You're gonna make sure that makeup ain't going anywhere. All right, dry it out. I do one more coat with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. Oh, have mercy. That's how your makeup don't move at Disney. Setting spray. Be liberal. Don't be shy. Please do not be shy. All right. Brushes go in the back. Mm. Where am I going? I just let it air dry for a little bit. And then while I'm working on that, I'm going to work on the lips. So I'll drink my coffee. I'm going to take my allergy medicine because the tree right by my the minute i get into work my allergies start kicking it's not just i'm allergic to work y'all i mean that could be part of it i'm just kidding um being that it's hot things bloom the pollen is unreal when it's hot Ooh, so if you're the type of person that gets um oh who got a new job oh thank you tj max five nine and you're like shorts yes Yes, Tank, you need, um, the, the buttercups are long. The buttercups are long, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mine are gel. I just got them done. <laughs> they do dip, but those are my nails. Those are all my nails. I just do dip. These are the... Hang on, I'm going to tell you which ones here. Mm, no, not... I bought them because sometimes I was at mom's. Sometimes I go use mom's nail lady. As you saw on Instagram, I got my nails did this weekend. It's uh, all leaks in there. I gotta like, oh, there's a whole bunch of, I gotta clean this thing. 
because some of it leaked out. Oop. My allergy medicine, don't mind me. I use the, normally I use Ballerina Gown GG9. This one is blush pink. That's the one I'm using. Is the blush pink? Is it the blush pink? Yes, because it's pinker and it looks more like natural depending on how dark I am. The DD9 tends to be a little lighter, so it shows up more. I want it to be as looking like natural nails as possible. But I use the Eye Gel Beauty Dip Dap. This is the, the gel. I try to put my name all over it, so I don't leave it at the nail salon. I use the GD7 Blush Pink. That's the color I'm using. But they have it in gel polish if you're just a polish girl. Like you're not trying to do um, dip or anything like that. So... Thank you. All right, get rid of this. This is like TikTok made me buy it. Crazy. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do my hair too. Uh, oh, my brush. Because I took my brush into mom's. So I, This brush never leaves my car. This is uh, still the one I always talked about forever. The Tangle Teaser brush. This is my favorite brush. My hair is clean because I just washed it yesterday. I'm gonna take my allergy medicine because I'm allergic to work. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not. But sometimes I feel like I am. Um, or also probably you almost need to set after you spray because then you know you want to just set the spray like right here, one more place. Like get rid of all the weird little. There you go. It like blends it out a little bit better. There you go. Ear, this is just a very light the hourglass powder. So it's not cakey. I can't use like that regular. I bought the stuff that everybody on TikTok maybe buy it. I mean, if you're just running around doing errands, but it's kind of, I mean, I guess you could set your foundation with it if you'd like. You could, but just using powder foundation, like I, I didn't know if like, that was true, you know, because it's all over TikTok. Like Michaela's like, oh, look at this. The coverage is so thick. It doesn't look like that on me. I put like three coats on. Literally, I think she must have put foundation liquid on and then put the powder on top because I'm like, it did not sit like that on me. I'm sorry. Just, it did not. <laughs> oh. See, I touched the side. Oh, no. Yeah, the tangler brushes are the way to go. Honestly, the tangle teaser or wet brush, whichever one works for you. Oh no, I touched it. I took a chunk of my foundation off. Girl. Ugh. Well, I bought it because what I'm gonna do is put it in my work bag. And then like, if I need a mirror at work or like touch-ups, this is what I'm using it for. Um, I bought it because TikTok made me buy it, set me billion super say 24 hour. I'm gonna use it for touch-ups. I mean, for 18 bucks, you know, drugstore isn't cheap anymore, but yeah, no, girl, exactly after, oh, these are my natural lashes, look, it was just mascara, give me a break, <laughs> maybe if we weren't beauty lovers and we're not idiots, but you can see where her lashes after lash gate, crazy, so I have to take my allergy medicine before work because, you know, not like she's allergic to work, but I am. I got it, and I took my vitamins. Where are my? I gotta make sure I have food in my belly before I take my vitamins because it makes me queasy, as all vitamins do. Uh, the dark red today, or more dark red. I guess we'll do red today. Now I know I agree because like I think all of them, even Glamzilla. I love Glamzilla. All of the new TikTok beauty influencers act like we haven't been around for a long time. We, you know, us have been watching YouTube since the beginning of time, especially beauty YouTube. Like, you cannot put one on us. I put Aquaphor on my lips before and they're still dry. Ah. Uh, Not blending. Hang on. The contour underneath. Okay, there we go. Is 
This is NYX waterproof, just NYX. It's called dark red. It matches my costume the best, like all the burgundy, you know, we're always trying to match the burgundy. Sorry, I can't talk in lip line. There we go. Oh, my lord. Well, the key is... Once I'm at work, I can't reapply because I'm working, right? I'm busy. So, waterproof really got to be, it's got to not be able to move. So, I do this because it works really well. And I'm still, I need to get more colors of the Kylie, more shades of the Kylie. I mean, Lindsay was the one to turn me on to the Kylie. But let me tell you, she's the only one that lasts all shift. Just saying. Once I'm on stage, I don't have time to do anything else. Like, I'm on stage, I'm done. Like, there is no more. Like, I can't. I don't go to. I got to go to the bathroom. Like, I go to the little streamer's room right before we go. Because you don't really have time to do anything else. Once you're on stage, you are on stage for the duration of your shift. And a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little boopy boopy. This is just a Natasha Denona. There we go. Because it's all going to fade. So, a little bit more there. Done. She good. And now we're going to do our work hair. So, I just like take the... Oop! I take the front pieces, which is usually my curled piece right here. And then... Ugh! I love clean hair. Nothing like clean hair. This is my elastics, by the way. If you didn't understand what it was. Alright, I do that. I put them under my ears and then I just split my hair in half. Good afternoon, hey guys. Just did we just did a little get ready with me on I have my love. I've been with the company almost it'll be six years in July, but I just got my five year pen, so but I've been with Disney all in all seven because I worked at homecoming two years before I became a blue ID cast member. So I got my, my five year pen on there. Thank you. So there, and then I just do braids, usually just really light, because I don't want to, nothing too crazy. And y'all, I can't see, there we go. So we're just going to braid lightly, braid lightly, and that's all we're going to do for work hair today. It's kind of like my go-to hairstyle, I mean, who are we kidding? We don't do anything else but braids these days. I could try to using ponytails every day. So, you know, oh, I'm a Hollywood Studios cast member. I speak Tagalog. I speak another language. This is another tag, obviously, and that's my five-year pin. But I've been with the company about seven years. But remember, third party don't count. So if you're working OP, you got to get your blue ID ASAP. I am a bartender here at Hollywood Studios. So, um, not this week. I am all Disney all weekend because we do have resorts days this week. We'll definitely be back there eventually. I'm going to do some Mardi Gras stuff. Um, but like I said, if you guys are just joining us, Megan and um, Sherry are both here for the Princess Marathon. It's Princess Marathon Week here at Disney World. So, and our wonderful Detroit Disney du duo has gifted us another DVC stay. You guys are amazing. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always, um, I am always your bartender extraordinaire, so feel free to uh, visit me. I am usually at the Sunshine Day Bar, as you guys know, on the way to Tower Terror and Fantasmic. I am your Fantasmic bartender. So you need to go get you a drink before you go see the show. Go visit Jen. A lot of you guys come and visit me all the time. Have a uh, Grab a drink before you go. I've met so many of you guys. Last week, I think I met three or four um, awesome here, some Ohana here. So I was so excited. Um, you guys always know where I am. So, yeah, if you're ever at Hollywood, Tuesday, Wednesdays, or Thursdays, I'm usually, these are my set days to work. That's why I'm always not streaming on those days. I only just come out on the weekends. Uh, I still have a ton of cruise vlogs to put out. Thank you, Rosalie. And, um, yeah, this is kind of my routine that I do. I got to leave here in, like, four minutes. I got to end the stream because um, we got to go. I still have to walk a long way. 
we have to uh we basically clock in all the way in the middle of the park so there's like a long way to walk no bus because like like i was telling you guys if you work for disney you're always at work an hour before at least i'm here at least an hour and a half before work because i do my makeup in the car that way i know i'm here I don't have to worry about traffic and I'm, you know, basically I do like my skincare, like, like put my moisturizer on while I'm in the car and then by the time I get here, I just do, um, and then just brush the back so I don't look crazy. Make sure there's no craziness. But yeah, that's kind of like my work hairstyle. My hair is so clean. I love it. It's like new hair. And then that's kind of, and then I just like pull out the little ends right here so they're cute. And then I just have to move my bank, uh, my name tag because depending on where my braid falls because it gets stuck so it's either all the way up here which i think i might do which is crazy but you have to go like you don't it, it's magnet so my hair gets tangled in the magnet in it or the pin actually it gets um it gets tangled up but that's kind of my get ready with me the cast member edition this is what i do for work every day see it actually has a place for your pin but my hair will cover it so see that works like it falls because you want to make sure you can see your name tag because it is visible there because so i just put it way up there because that way it don't get tangled because it does it still will get tangled in there eventually so i'm like drive me crazy but it does happen uh yeah Whoop. make sure see even my things are uh burgundy match the burgundy shorts but yes but that is my get ready with me and i of course have parked approved glasses can they they can only be like white brown or black uh, and you can't have polarized they have to be lenses that are clear not clear but like non-polarized you know um and they can sell your i don't use them once i'm at work i take them off it's just for the long walk through the park lord have mercy so i do that put my shades on and she ready for the day but that's usually my go-to hairstyle at work easy peasy lemon squeezy um can't keep wearing ponytails every day it gets boring i'll just bring my coffee with me sometimes i do sometimes i don't all right but otherwise that's kind of my get ready with me and this is the final look she ready for work. She got her burgundy shorts on. Sassy. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. A quick little get ready with me today. So yes, definitely please watch all the cruise videos I put out. I've got a bunch more coming out. Um, I'm going to try. I'm going to do. I'm doing another Tron preview tomorrow. Doing another one on Friday. No, Saturday. And doing one on March 7th. So thank you guys so much. I thought I would just do a get ready with me. But this is kind of what I do every day for work as a cast member but there you go and yes we're gonna do a staycation on friday so a live i will see you guys at animal kingdom on friday we're gonna do a um resort tour of animal kingdom lodge on friday so that'll be awesome we'll savannah view let's see what animals we can find okay love you guys have a wonderful day now it's your turn to make some magic comment like and subscribe please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already have a great tuesday love you bye